Yo, welcome back to the Build Something TV. We know what's going on, what's happening, man. We are starting to tackle this stuff here. But before we get into that, if you have an old car, you need to change the springs and change the upper arms and basically change the whole front suspension, if so. This here is a flashback video of the Ford Mavic 1973. I need to get all of this stuff here done and also do some more welding on the chassis. So let's get into the video. Now you see it's in, you make sure all the screws are tight and then you get busy and um, get a socket up there and then slip this joint out. And start compressing the, the spring, the coil, whatever you want to call it. Mind you, this is how I do it. You guys probably got a, like a better way. Please let me know. Okay. Got to take the socket out, man. You gently place it down and walk away from it quickly. And really, that's how you do it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to release some of this tension, man, because this thing's making me nervous. Now, back to this Maverick. This is the upper arm on the Maverick. Old, rusty, basically daggone stock item here from 1973, more than likely. Um, remember when I bought the new upper arms and I thought that I bought it, I kind of like an impulse buy and I bought, I shouldn't have bought it. It was a good thing because in between here is stripped. When I um, took this thing out right here, the rust from the other side just stripped the whole thing out. So if you're dealing with this, just buy an arm because more than likely this will strip out. Hopefully not, but more than likely. So. What I started to do was I started to massage the new parts and start adding some other parts. Um, one of these new arms here did not have a shaft or the nut or whatever the heck what you want to call it. Didn't have the kit going on with it. So I had to buy another kit for like $17. Normally those things go for either $20 to $40 for one. So it was some overstock from 1970 something. So I went and bought it. I used one from the Falcon and I put it on and everything and I cut a slit inside the shaft. I seen the old timers doing that to keep the grease inside this thing. So it goes through the whole shaft, not just staying in the bottom of this situation here or in the back side of it. So what we did, we started to really get to it and um, this is the ending result of it. Now you can see the grease fitting here and that shaft, the grease just went right across here and it's lubricating the whole shaft and this has a boot on it. If you get one of these, get the one with the boot. This boot is needed. This is a beautiful, beautiful item. Let's go and uh, check out this and what we got to do over here. Um, these strut towers are a little bit beat, man. Some of these areas are lifting. If you kind of see there, they're all kind of lifting. This whole fender is beat, but it's lifting and it's lifting even over here. What we're going to do is just going to start tack welding it down to make it a little bit more rigid. That's really all that we're doing. We're not trying to make it race ready. got the welds done. Um, one part I didn't do too well was I needed to bang this down. Uh, I thought I can overlap it real quick because I just want to get the corners. 
and this corner got ate up real bad. Um, I didn't do the other side yet, but the welds are solid um, for a stick welder, and I'm still a novice. Then right after that, you spray paint the thing up, and you go into your handy dandy 302 book, and you check it out, and you see it right there. You know, I cut it and did all the stuff there. I, didn't, I got rid of the seams, so basically you just weld up the seams. You know, you get a little bit of game, you go a little bit step further, you can just take and flip flop and add your own little flavor to it. Okay, let's take a break. Let's head out to the junkyard. We're gonna go get some pieces for this Maverick. Basically, I need a manual steering box because it has a power steering one. I want a manual one. So let's roll over there. I need a lot of stuff. Well, not too much stuff. I asked him for this car. He, he declined me. And, I, and it got me a little bit upset. I said, dang man, give me the goddamn car. But he didn't want to give it to me. This thing has manual steering. I have to double check and triple check. It, yes, it is manual. All right. Whew. Hope this ain't poison. Poison oak or something craziness, man. My boy, I'll be hit. So anyway. This is something that I would want, but I have to make it worth my while if I am going to get this item. You know what I mean? I have to, you know, spend a little bit of money. I'm going to go and probably more so talk about getting parts off of that. There's nothing else in here I need, right? There is nothing. I'm going to dip back to the, to the garage because um, I'm, I'm worried about this poison ivy or poison okra something starts scratching and stuff man so i'm gonna get back at the garage I came back and i said man i ain't got nothing to do so let's go do something so i went and i said i'm going to install a clutch pedal inside of the maverick in case if i do it five speed i'm gonna need a hydraulic joint so i went and got some 240 sx stuff because that's what i have laying around and i know that you classic four guys are not gonna like it but again I saved this car from going into the scrap heap. So let's get to these um, pedals. So um, first thing I had to do, I had to take out the bolts and get a cut pattern. After I get the cut pattern, then size it up and figure out where it's going to go. Then I had to straighten up this clutch pedal. Then go back and then grind underneath here just a little bit so the grind, so the metal, uh, the weld that's on this pedal is still on here, heat it up and then just turn it. You know what I mean? And then re-weld. Gotta get a better welder. Or I gotta really practice more on welding. Some days I get it, some days I don't. All right, got it painted up, ready to go. You gotta take the lower part off. Cause that's like my boy said, he said all the 73s and then and lower had that little piece underneath which the car has a little bit more space then underneath here you know made that hole somewhere right around there it looks legit like a mug and that goes right into the wheel well now but also with a situation i came across with this too uh there's a big behind hole right there i don't know if you guys can kind of see it Right over there. That situation there, we got to deal with this uh, made of plate. I had to go ahead and cut that out, which I had over here. So what I did was just took a piece of metal, cut it out with that right there and just get busy and just cut it. Next up, before we start welding and everything, we got to figure out what are we doing? Because we have a situation where this needs to be a little bit gap underneath there for stability against the firewall or the wheel well situation, or we're gonna adapt it on the outside. Now, this piece here will help you do all of that. Now, this piece here is really designed to go on the outside, basically over here. See these two holes here that's threaded? Those two holes there are for a, a Willwood Clutch Master that we can install in this car. But what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use this adapter here, and I'm gonna put it on the inside, and then use the regular stock OEM 240SS Clutch Master for the time being. Now also too, I got the Clutch Master from a, um, from a 240SX inside of my Crown Victoria. So I definitely have to get maybe 
two more pieces like this and it'll probably be ideal for what we're trying to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean up this little dimple here right there and then we're going to shove this cusp master in and see how everything fits. But first, we got to get this plate. And we got the thing installed. Now that adapter piece that I have showed you, you can install a Willwood clutch master inside this. Now, later on, I'm going to buy two more pieces then of those adapters and I may install a Willwood um, clutch master in also this car here and my Crown Victoria that sits outside. It looks legit, man. I mean, it's good to go, man. Now let's check out and see how it sits inside. Again, you guys may not like this, but hey, man, it works. It's, it looks good. To me, it does. I mean, you want to get fancy, you can probably weld something up. And there's the bolt right there. We got that lined up and we're good to go. Um, I'm just going to leave it just like this. And we'll probably just basically just call it a day on this one, man. So some of you guys may ask, hey, what engine you were going to put in it? Uh, well, I was going to go carb and then I started pricing out all the carb pieces to get it carbureted and do on all of that. Plus, I didn't have an engine. Took out that inline six. So this is the engine I'm going to be using, Ford Explorer. Many of the oldest subscribers know all about this engine. Went and got it out of the junkyard. The same, the same truck that I took the axles out, I took the engine out of and everything else and um i'm just gonna wire it up efi and it just probably be the best way for me on the budget to be able to do it now if i don't succeed and anything like that i can go ahead and carb it ideally it should be carved you know to be period correct but if i can get the efi system running off of these um these coil packs here and then i'll be solid just waiting on parts as i'm doing and the weather and to be able to do everything else it's going to be a five speed stick and not going to do automatic. It's just what is abundant and what is quick to get it up and going. But it's not quick because I've been taking a while to do this. It takes some money, man. So thank you guys for checking out this video on this update on the Maverick. These are for the new subscribers coming into the channel, man. I definitely thank you guys for checking out the videos and all the other videos and commenting and bashing me about how to say um, Carol Shelby. I do appreciate it. Trust me, I do. <laughs> I really do. So, man, I'll see you guys on the next video, all right? Later. I have 30 pounds. Anybody back in the day? 32 pounds and dollars. Anybody else? So, 30 pounds and dollars. So, 30 pounds and dollars, Clinton.